Hello YouTube, this is Carlos from Carlos and Jane Vlogs. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to take a look at the HP EliteBook 840 G1 laptop. This laptop is from late 2013. It was actually loaned to me in uh, 2019 um, because my Latitude 3480 was experiencing some problems. The screen had been going out along with the keyboard and battery. I had actually got a brand new computer at the time. It was this um, Latitude 3400. Though that computer didn't last long because it had um, water damage. Uh, I had uh, gone out to eat that night or one night. And uh, what happened was when I came home, I had a foam cup. And it had a lot of Sprite and ice in it. So it, it got knocked over and well, took that computer out quickly. Well, I'm not going to say I don't abuse my computers. Uh, but I can say that the um, the last time something like this happened was in 2006. I had a brand new Inspiron 600M, got in late 20, no, 2005, and um, was carrying a large or regular sized bowl of soup, and my thumb slipped from the little bowl into the uh, hot, boiling hot uh, soup, and I just shook and the stuff just spilled out onto the keyboard. <laughs> oh well, le lessons learned. That computer still lasted this like with a partially messed up keyboard until late like uh, 2011 or so so um anyways i didn't have the time or money to order another replacement laptop since i was already like in debt so uh what i did was i decided to just take the hard drive out of the 3480 and plug it into the uh, hp uh laptop so now we're going to take a look at that laptop and see how it's been Okay, so this is actually my first HP laptop that I used regularly. Over the years, um, I was more of a Dell Latitude person, with my first one being a uh, Latitude XPI CD from 97. At the front of the HP laptop, there's not really much there. Um, just uh, four indicator lights, Wi-Fi, power, charge, and the hard disk activity. Um, on the left-hand side of the computer, there's a smart card reader, two USB ports, a VGA port, the fan grill, and a lock slot. On the back of the computer, there's not much there aside from the Hewlett Packard label on the uh, aluminum frame. On the right hand side, you have your charge port, a proprietary connector, which I actually don't remember what it, what it actually is, probably like a dock or something, Ethernet port, two USB adapters, a, um, I believe that's a display port, right by the headphone jack at the end. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the computer in just a second. Uh, one more thing, there's actually a card reader at the bottom between the display port and the USB port. Uh, that's just a little, like, dust cover, dust shield, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, opening the screen, you got a 14-inch screen. Um, the webcam's at the top. You got a touchpad with buttons, which is nice, like when playing games. Uh, touch stick with a second set of buttons. Fingerprint reader, Wi-Fi switch, mute control, and of course the power button. So now let's turn the computer on. I will say that one thing I don't like is that the computer doesn't um, doesn't show you like by default. It doesn't show like what to press when you turn it on. Like F2 for setup, F12 for the one-time boot menu, stuff like that. I will say that when I moved the hard drive from the 3480 to the 840, it was virtually a seamless startup. It just registered and installed the devices and it was good to go. So we're going to log into the computer. It is snappy. I mean, it has an i7 fourth generation, pro fourth generation sorry, uh, processor uh, compared to the uh, Latitude 3480's i7 seventh generation processor. The performance differences are minimal. Okay, so now we're here at the desktop. And now we're going to take a look around. So the first thing I want to do is open a program. I think I'm going to open Word first. After selecting Word as the program I want to open, it takes a moment to open, but it's not too bad. It's not like it's taking forever, like on an old computer. Um, 
while we take the time to wait, I just want to show the webcam. It's right there. It has a indicator light, but nothing to stop it from um, like showing out. Not no privacy covers or anything, anything like that. Um, going into the camera app, we can see how the um, video quality is in just a moment. The computer, I mean, this is an old uh, installation of Windows, so of course it's going to take some time to uh, load up sometimes, but you just have to be patient with it. I guess I was wrong. It's taking a little longer than usual to start up. As I edit this, I see that um, got quite a bit of just staring at a blue screen. In just a moment, looks like there's not much left. An SSD hard drive will definitely help this computer. Okay, looks like it wants to come up slowly. Oh, wait a minute. Now oh, I remember what happened. This is a new user account that I created for this video. So what ended up happening is that it was running for the first time and asking me for the permissions. So now, there we go. Okay, so you can see me. The camera is uh, kind of like an old cell phone uh, quality. Not too good, but it's visible. It's not like it's a VGA camera or anything like that. Oh, and yeah, Word was opening. So no wonder this thing was slowing down. I forgot about that. Okay, so just skip to all that stuff. This uh, installation or this setup is not going to be out for long. A lot of uh, first time run screens and stuff like that. Okay, so we got Word here. Let it open. One thing I like about this old computer is that it actually has a hard drive indicator light. Um, a lot of like the newer ones like the 3480 and the 3400, they don't have that indicator. Or at least I, I couldn't figure out how to make the... Uh, charge light to show that it's doing that like like or like switch it to where it can show that the hard drive is doing stuff but as you can see this computer is busy <laughs> okay so i opened chrome that didn't really seem to take as long to open uh here we're going to do an audio test of the computer in just a moment i'm going to go into youtube and we'll pull up one of our other videos just as a test web browsing performance of course i mean it's an i7 what do you expect it's going to be it's going to be a um, normal not bad or anything. Relative to your internet speed. If you got fast internet, web pages load quick. If you got slow internet, you're going to have to be patient. Or if it's a computer that has a lot of programs running in the background, you may notice that it's going to take some time to open. Let's go to our channel here. And we'll go to our, uh, our videos. Something, anything. And let's just try this. Okay, not too sure what happened at the end. Either the video was uh, buffering or the computer was slow. Uh, audio quality is not that bad. The speakers are um, right under the monitor uh, in front of the keyboard between the power switch. So it wasn't too bad. So oh, okay. That's what it was. It was a network issue. Okay, so that wasn't a bad sound test after all. Um, getting out of the video, I want to do a game test now. So here we are in the game test. I am going to say that I am very much impressed by the performance of the laptop. 
It has just only a little bit of stutter with the frame rate, but that's not to be uh, like a surprise because this computer is about seven years old. I do want to say, however, that the game's performance is a lot better on this computer compared to the Latitude 3480, which is weird, actually, as they're both i7 processors. But, hey, what do you know? Maybe it's just the way HP sets up their computers. Whoops. Okay, so that definitely wasn't supposed to happen. Smoke at the next structure, boss. Circle so we're going to try that again. But yeah, anyways, um, it looks good. I was really impressed. The only problem is that it gets hot. Okay, back at the desktop, I'm going to go ahead and shut down the computer. And we'll just take a quick look under the hood. I like th this computer, actually. Despite its shortcomings, like with the BIOS and stuff, I like the way this computer was designed, like to take apart. Um, the bottom cover is just a, like a slide-on cover with a spring clip, or something like that. It has like a little sliding clip that you slide to lock, and then you slide it the other way to unlock. Then at that point, you just uh, push the cover off, and then you can access the internals such as the memory stick, hard drive, and battery. I've never taken apart this computer, so I'm not sure how easy it is to repair. But I'm willing to bet it's mostly easy. Okay, so the computer's off and I flipped it over. That appears to be a docking port, probably something to set the computer down on to charge the battery while it's connected, or while it's connected to the dock. So this is the cover I was talking about. Um, that little paper right there that was just a cushion because I put a narrow or a thin hard drive. Uh, batteries right next to it. You have an SD or SSD spot, wireless uh, adapter, memory sticks. There you go. That's the Toshiba hard drive that was in my uh, Latitude 3480. I literally just took it out and plugged it in. And the cover goes back on quite nicely. Then slide the lock uh, slot or lock uh, slider closed and you're good to go. There you have it. So that was the video for the, the HP EliteBook 840G1. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, by the way, this computer is actually still in production today, though it's now in its sixth generation, so it's a more advanced, modernized computer for the time. Um, be sure to like this video, or dislike it, um, subscribe to our channel, and enable the notifications. That's all for today, everybody. Bye-bye.